I am going to show you my amazing makeup bag. I just finished my first day of beauty school at uh, Marriott, which is here in Stockholm. And the first day was basically in, in full of instructions and, you know, five hours of going through everything that's in the bag, all the classes that we're going to do this term, and just all the little details. So my head is full of stuff right now. Um, but I'm going to show you the bag, and it's still a lot of stuff in here, so I'm going to be pretty quick about showing you every single detail. So, <laughs> the bag looks like this. Sorry about the bad lighting, you guys. Top comes off. doesn't even fit in the shot, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. So in the first compartment, we've got stuff for the eyes. More stuff for the eyes. More stuff for the eyes. All the little tools and stuff. We've got foundations and concealers. And stuff for the lips. So let's go into detail here. Again, sorry about the bad lighting. It's dark out, so we can't really do anything about that. Um, Alright, I'm going to start, so the way that everything is put um, in, into the different compartments right now is how, is how I have put it. Everything was in like little plastic packages and stuff. So in the first one I have uh, stuff for the eyes. So we have four mascaras. Uh, these two are uh, black and brown. These two are black and brown as well, but these are more bold. And these are more easy, like for softer not so dramatic look. We also have this which is clear um, for eyebrows and different touch-ups or for making your own mascara using color pigments. We have got these six different eye pencils. I'm not gonna go into every single shade but you see what I've got going on right here. So two eyebrow pencils with the little combs at the end. So one that's a bit grey and one that is more black. We have an eyeshadow primer. Two glitters, one silver and one gold. Two cake eyeliners, a black and a brown. And three brow definers in different shades. In the second compartment I have all of the pigments. Now this is one of the cool things about this bag. Uh, I don't know how other schools do it, but uh, we focus a lot on working with pigmentation at my yard, which is a lot of fun because you can make your own products, basically. So these are loose pigments. The one I picked up right now is black, I think, or really dark purple might be the case. Um, there are, let's see, there are 25 different shades. I'm not going to show you every single bottle, but it basically goes from white to black. And there's purples, golds, blues, greens, everything's in there. So I'm going to have a lot of, a lot of fun with that, like make mixing uh, my own like lip tarts. And basically, yeah, of course, I'm going to be using them for um, eyeshadow as well. So pencil sharpener, tiny end, big end. Two compact powders. I'm guessing this one goes with my complexion. In the third compartment, we have... Um, eyelashes and stuff like that. So we have the eyelash curler. This is a little silicone pad instead of something that uh, is more plastic so this works great around your lashes. We have this which is a, a gel glitter fixer so you use this to keep the glitters in place. Um, you've seen me use glitters with a creamy base such as lipstick before but this is actually made to use with glitter. We have these two little bottles. This is a sealer and this is an effect gum. This is for when you work with more with special effects or like applying um, beads or you know more stuff to your face, I guess. Have this little plastic tool thingy. Uh, you can use this for eyebrow coverage. Obviously, I don't need these because I don't have eyebrows, but you know for other people, I'm gonna be putting makeup on other people now, not just myself. Um, so yeah, you use that for like wax and stuff. And then we have some eyelashes. I should also add that everything in this bag is by the brand Emite or Emite, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, which is the school's own brand, um, except for the false lashes because they don't make them they, themselves. So we've got one sample set of lashes. This is by Piggy Page. Sorry, Piggy Sage. And then we have these, which are singles. 
And then this crazy pair from Stargazer. I love Stargazer. I'm gonna take the middle big pocket last. So at the other end, uh, I have the stuff that's for the lips. So there are two lip glosses, one that's clear and one that's sort of dark reddish pink, I guess. Um, and the reason we don't get all kinds of crazy colors is because we're going to mix the um, lip hurts ourselves using the pigments. And then we have three shades of lipstick. One crazy pink, one dark red, and one sort of more... I don't know, I can't even see the colors. It's so bad lighting here. And next up, we have this, which is just, just a lip balm to prep the lip. And this is a lip neutralizer, which is a pretty good way to do a um, nude lip, or you can use it as a base. And then put some powder over it, and then put a uh, lipstick on top to get it to last like all night long. Perfect for weddings and stuff like that. And then in that compartment, I've also put this, which is like the pad that you put the, the product on before you apply it to your customer. And in this little package, there's a mirror. And we have these four lip pencils. Next up, we have foundation. I'm not going to take out every single bottle here. Uh, we have one that's called Pro Moisture Foundation. There are 10 different shades of this. This is the darkest one. And in here, there's also uh, this, which is a um, foundation primer, so like a fixer for the face. And then there are six of uh, this other foundation, which is a bit more light. And then there are three correctors, so one yellow, one green, and one purple. If you, you don't know how, what you use these for, it's for just correcting areas on your face that need to be neutralized before you can put foundation on them. So if say your cheeks are really red, then you can apply a bit of the green, just a little bit, to neutralize it and it will basically become white and then you can put the foundation on top. There is also a white concealer pen, which is perfect for highlighting, irregular concealer pens. And then there are seven little boxes of concealer. And then we have the big middle part. I'm gonna start out with my favorite, which is the brush case. <sighs> Uh, we were given, I think, 13 out of the uh, 20 different brushes that they have from a light or a meat, which is these. Starting from the big fluffy brushes to foundation brushes, concealer brushes, eyeshadow brushes, blending brushes, lip brushes, everything. And then there's also this little tool right here. Uh, if you're working with like wax or putty or anything that needs a bit more molding, or you can use that to pick up some of the creamy um, makeup product <laughs> and put it onto that little um, like base plate that you saw me hold up in the beginning, and then pick up the product from there. So I love these brushes! Uh, in here we also have like regular cotton uh, q-tips, tissue paper, Cotton pads. We've got three little jars of loose powder right here. Then we've got four palettes. First one is compact eyeshadows. These are the ones that came. I'm pretty sure that this red one and this black one are going to be my two favorites. I love this dark red. Look how dark that is. And the black is supposed to be like super, super great. Um, I read a lot of positive comments about that black. The second palette is blushers. You got these four. Third palette is eyeshadows and you've got some more bronzing ones right here. Th these four and these super cool colors right here. Love that red one. Um, these are, oops, if you can see I just attach like that, like magnets. And then the final palette is a foundation palette. Awesome! We've got some sponges. Puffs. These were actually specifically designed by the principal of Mariart. She made those herself, which is pretty cool. They're supposed to be great. Uh, and then tweezers. And then we have all the cleaning products and stuff like that. Uh, this is disinfection for the tools. Uh, not the brushes, but for like tweezers and um, you know everything else, basically. 
but just not the brushes. And then this is hand disinfection, just to put on your hands uh, before you start working on a client. Uh, this is a makeup remover for eyes and lips. It contains Dead Sea Minerals and it has oil in it, as you can see. Then we've got the Dead Sea Minerals Cleansing Milk, also for makeup removal. removing, removal. And then we have a Vitamin E Lotion. And last but not least, the Dead Sea Minerals Toner. I think that was all the stuff that was in here. That's a lot of stuff and I have to drag this uh, back back and forth to school and then to work because I go to work right after school every single day. But uh, fun and I still look forward to starting to work with all this stuff. So yeah, lesson, first lesson, real lesson starts tomorrow and we're going to talk about um, like colors and hygiene and uh, face charts, I think. So it'll be fun and I've done my first homework too. <laughs> Yay! I'm the oldest one in the class, you guys. There's another girl who's 30 but she just turned 30 and I turned 30 in January so I'm the oldest but you know, whatever. Well, before this video becomes super long, um, I hope you enjoyed this quick peek into this amazing makeup bag that you get. Uh, if you want to become a makeup artist, I think every school has like a similar version of theirs. Um, I'll pop some links below to the school if you want to check it out into the makeup brands, uh, I meet or I might. If you have any questions, pop them below. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys! Oh, and for more immediate updates on school progress, don't forget to check out my blog.